Well, what can I say? Better late than never. What's up, y'all? Thanks for stopping by the Search T channel. Now, I've heard of the fan film, Vader Episode 1, Shards of the Past, a film that was made by the folks over at Star Wars Theory, a YouTube channel. And at the time, you know, I was just not into really watching much of anything. You know, I was in a funk in my life. I even left my previous channel and just, you know, was done with it. And I recently got back into doing the trailer reactions and all that stuff and watching another channel. And I saw this person about to give their review of this very fan film. So instead of watching that person's video, I thought I'd watch it first and go back to watching and seeing what this person thought about it. And now I'm going to give you an uh a look at what I think about it as I watch the fan film entitled The Vader Episode 1 Shards of the Past. Let's check it out. Ah, it's a cool, uh, cool logo, cool pick there. Star Wars Theory. Long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. Anakin Skywalker is dead. For eight months, the mysterious Darth Vader has enforced the Emperor's commands. <clears throat> for some, the Empire brings fear. For others, it brings hope. But for Vader, it brings nothing but suffering. This is <laughs> insane how good this is. This is holding back all of those attempted, attempted laser shots, man. That's intense. Damn. You will suffer for your deceit. Answer for your failure to save her. I destroyed your enemies, forged for you an empire. Yet, like the Jedi, you have left me a mere shadow of what I was promised. You have taken everything. Everything. Foolish boy, you grieve for the dead wife of an insolent Jedi. Your precious Padme's fate was your choice, oh. just as your fate is mine. <laughs> you know, old Padme, Padme said as a way to kind of distract him with a monster. You know.
good reproduction of their, uh, you know, their voices. You know, sound just like, you know, the ones who voice the original, you know what I mean? Really got messed up there too. Such a pity. How much grander and more powerful you could have still become. If you but had the temerity to embrace the path set before you. Power from him and then just come here. Man. There you go. Finally snapped. Now Vader's weakened down there a little bit. I made this for you. So you'll remember me. It will bring you good fortune. It's beautiful. But I don't need this to remember you by. Hmm. My caring for you will always remain. And when he was young and with Padme. We still got those memories, you know? His childhood and other memories he had. Padme. A greater with a heart. Like that. And that is why you'll never defeat oh. <laughs> As long as you let your feelings anchor you, forever Jesus. shall you remain weaker than I. Always the servant. They say he's the, the most powerful Jedi. I mean the most powerful in the you know, ever in the force, you know. Uh, don't surprise me. Lord Vader, you have an urgent message. Ooh, this is always a dream, man. This is a dream. My lord. Or a nightmare. Proceed. In this case. The Emperor demands your presence at once. Lord Vader? As he wishes. Woo! Man. Damn. Gods, leave us. What is thy bidding, my master? You are distressed, my friend. I am fine, my master. Are you now? Your anger radiates like a whirlwind, yet unfocused. No, not unfocused. Hidden. You are trying to hide your rage from me. Why? Ah, I see. Then what is your hesitation, Lord Vader? Give in to your anger. Strike me down. I have no such wish, Master. Pathetic. <sighs> A mighty Sith Lord crippled by melancholy and indecision, all due to the attachments of a Jedi. There is no attachment. Anakin Skywalker was weak. I destroyed him. Did you? Yet Skywalker's powers dwarfed yours, did they not? No. 
Rise, Lord Vader. Rise. It is the way of the Sith to destroy all who stand in our way to power. To eliminate our rivals, is it not? Who stands in your way, Lord Vida? Who holds you back? Keeps you subjected and decrepit within that armor? Anyone? If so, only your hate will eradicate you. Use it. Come down. I cannot, my master. That is why my disappointment with you grows by the second. Embrace the choices that have brought you here. Revel in them. Or forever live in the shadow of Anakin Skywalker. Anakin Skywalker. Now, I have a task for you, my young apprentice. I've got a test for him now. There's a great disturbance in the Force. A powerful Jedi survives in the mid rim. He must pay the price for his betrayal. As you wish. He hides on my home planet of Naboo. And of course, that of the late Queen Padme Amidala. It is no coincidence. He draws you there because he knows who you are, Lord Vader. The clones that report he wields an amethyst blade. How is that possible? Power. That's how. And you and I both know this particular Jedi wields a great deal of it. I will finish what we started, Master. Will you? I'm a Luke. I wonder. Eliminate this Jedi. Pledge yourself to the dark side fully, Lord Vader. Relish in the gifts it bestows upon you. Only then will you be able to cast off the chains that bind you and achieve a power as never before. Only then will you be able to destroy the rival before you. Then I will not fail, Master. So to start with Padme, that's to be Luke. Personal shuttle. I seem to be afflicted by a sudden tinge of nostalgia to visit my beloved Nabu. <laughs> hmm. Sir, the Palpatine, though, you know. Great visual effects. Great, you know, look. Great acting. I mean, Sometimes these fan films are better than the damn films that have been released recently in Star Wars, you know, with The uh, Last Jedi and uh, Force Awakens, especially The Last Jedi. You can want to dump all over that film. Welcome, Lord Vader. The Jedi has barricaded himself in the catacombs and has sealed off all of the entrances. It's ready to blow our way in. But now of all the troopers we've sent in, none have returned. Lost troopers do not concern me, Commander. I want that Jedi. I will use the 501st. As you wish, sir. Make way for the boys in blue. Right away, sir. Anakin. Go, 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 go! Where's episode two? <laughs> okay, so what a great film. Not just fan film, but a great film. Really had great acting. It had heart. And really a story that you can follow along with 
And it's not so convoluted, it's not so driven by agendas, it's just straight up what we expect from a Star Wars film of any kind of, you know, whatever kind of film it is, whether it's fan film, it's an actual film, it's a independent film. You know, it really, really stands on its own. And Star Wars Theory, this that YouTube channel, man, hats off to you guys. Real big ups to all of you, especially the ones who portrayed Palpatine and Darth Vader um, physically in the costumes. And I'm pretty sure they approached it like they did with the movies where they had different actors voicing them. And whoever did that, did a bang up job, especially Darth Vader. Sometimes it's hard to capture James Earl Jones's inflections, his tone, the way he talks. That's the only thing, like when I seen uh, that uh, fan film SC-38, uh, which I guess that meant scene 38 from the Star Wars A New Hope, and it was reimagined the fight scene between uh, Obi-Wan and Vader. And when he, Darth Vader talks, you could tell it was a voice actor. And then it kind of didn't sound right. It kind of sounded off and it didn't even, didn't even blend with the actual voice from the voice uh, by, sound bite from the original film. And there's some things definitely I can nitpick about that one, but it was a overall good uh, reimagining of that classic fight scene. Here it's just awful. It's a lot of it, it's just a lot of dialogue. Not a lot of action, not a lot of uh, dealing with anything else, but Vader's, you know, just dealing with memories of the past, shards of the past, as the title says, you know. Padme with, of course, the Emperor and President, he's knows that he can't really do anything to the Emperor. He feels like he has vanquished him out of his life and then he comes back, you know. I mean, that granted that was a dream sequence or a nightmare sequence in regards to uh, Darth Vader. But then we see him suspended in air, you know, with his uh, physical, uh, you know, impairments that he has, no arms, no legs. Well, all his arms and legs are like chopped in half pretty much. And the only thing that really keeps him whole is when he's in his Darth Vader costume, when he get, gets put into his, uh, you know. But it was a great, uh, it was really great. It was. Uh, I really liked it. I mean, I wish I had seen it when it first came out, you know. But like I said in the opening, it's better late than never. Uh, well, that was my uh, look at Vader Episode 1, Shards of the Past. Uh, well, thanks for watching and take care.